In this really quick YouTube video, I'm just gonna show you how to add the line art modifier to objects in Blender. So you can see here, this is just a monkey and a sphere here. And whenever I move the camera around, you can see the line art is just drawn over it automatically. How cool is that? So this is super simple. Now, if you wanna see just this process, skip ahead. Um, I'm just gonna start by just creating this quick little scene. If anybody wants to start from scratch and make a little scene. Um, but if you just wanna get straight to the actual line art bit, just skip ahead one way or another. This is a super quick video. And you can see here, this works even when we're in rendered mode. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's jump in. So we're gonna start in a default scene. We're gonna select the default cube and the light and just press delete. We'll leave the camera in here. And we're gonna go shift A and just add in a mesh plane. And let's tab into edit mode and let's just go S to scale it up nice and big and then S, X. And I'm just making a little stage here. So I'll just move this edge back and extrude it up. Grab this edge and I'll go control B and just give it a bevel. And then let's go back into object mode and go shift A. And now we're just gonna go add in a simple mesh object. In this case, I'm gonna go with a monkey head. And let's go G, Z, move it up. And let's give it a subdivision surface. So just really basic stuff. Right click and go shade smooth. And then in this case, I'll just rotate the monkey head and just kind of place it here. And we're almost done building the scene. I'm just gonna go shift A and just quickly go to the mesh options, add in an icosphere. I'm gonna go here and just bump it up. And then I'm gonna go G, move it here. S to scale, I might place it over here. Something like this and I'll go into the camera view and I'll maybe just move the camera in closer. So you guys get the idea, right? We're just keeping it really simple here. And I'll grab the icosphere, right click and go shades move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our render settings and you can do this in cycles and EV, but I'm gonna go ahead and change the render engine to cycles. And we're gonna come here to the render and we're gonna go to the max samples and just make it 45. Shift A, go to your light options, just add in an area light and go G, Z, move it up. And then under your light properties, just go here and give it 200 in the strength here and a size of three meters. And then go Z and go rendered. Now, if you want to, you can just grab the monkey head, go to your material properties, go new, and I don't know, just give it a color of your choosing. I'll grab this guy over here, I'll go new, just make it blue. Cool, we now have a scene to demonstrate with. So let's go, shift A, let's go over to our grease pencil here, and let's add in a stroke. Let's go G and move the stroke out of the scene here. So you can see here it is. With the stroke selected, go over to your modifiers, click on add modifier and go ahead and give it a line art. And we wanna come here to where it says layer, and we want to just go and change it to colors. And then under here in the material, you can click on it and you can change it to any one of these. I'm going to go with black over here. And then what you have here, this is the main thing, is the line thickness. And if you actually want to give that property to anything in the scene, you just got to come here to the collection. And so far, everything is just in the main collection here that is the default. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And now everything in this collection has that line art property, as you can see here. And we see this as we're looking through the camera. So as soon as I move out of the camera view, and I'm just gonna quickly go into solid view. And you can still see this working in solid view, by the way. But you can see over here, this is what we have. So we wanna actually go into the camera view. And then we can just go ahead and rotate our camera and we'll always see the line art through the camera. It really is that simple. And if we were to actually go ahead and go render and render image, At first, you won't see it. You'll just see the normal render. But when it's done rendering, you'll see the line art imposed over it. And here we have it. You can see it's quite thick. Reason being here with that line art, if we click on it, um, with that modifier, you just gotta make sure you come here to the line thickness and you can adjust that. You can also round, mess around with the opacity. So that really is the basics of it all. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.